وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ And they will say then, if we had only listened, and if we had only understood, if we had only applied our intellect. The first condition mentioned here is that of listening. لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ The thing of it is, this revelation, these messengers, they are of no benefit to a person until they're willing to listen. And after, only after listening, will you consider giving it some thought. Right? لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ We would not have been from the people of the, the blazing, the scorching fire. فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنْبِهِمْ Then they'll admit to their sin. What is, the, uh, what is the concept of admitting to your sin, admitting to your sin in dunya? What's that called? Tawbah. Tawbah is when you admit to your sin in dunya. And when you admit to your sin in dunya, you get closer to Allah, yes? Where did we learn that already? Previous surah. Tubu ilallahi tawbatan nasuha. What's the opposite of that? Admitting to your sin, but when? In the akhirah. And you know, tawbah means to turn back. Meaning we willingly turn back to Allah. On judgment day, you're turned towards Him whether you like it or not. You're turned to face your consequences whether you... You have to read your book whether you like it or not. You have to admit your sins whether you like it or not. So what's the accomplishment now? And this, this admission will not bring you closer to Allah in akhirah. So Allah says, فَسُحْقًا Now the word سُحْقًا is actually akad. It's stronger. أَقْوَى مِنْ كَلِمَةْ بُعْدًا فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ out there, away and away, far, far away, in the depths, away, for the people of hellfire. I don't want to hear them. Take them far away from here. فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ So in the earth, and this world, the admission of sin brings us closer to Allah. In the akhirah, admission of guilt, get away from here. It does you no good now. فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ No doubt those who feared or were afraid of their, their master, in the unseen, in private, bil ghaib. Bil ghaib means two things. One, they were alone. So this is a fear of Allah wasn't a public display for them, like in front of each other they're acting decently, but in private there's somebody else. That's one meaning of bil ghaib. When nobody else can see them, they have fear of Allah. The other meaning of bil ghaib is, يعني يعود إلى الرب, the, the master that they couldn't see. They believed in their Rabb, and they feared him even though they can't see him. لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَأَجْرٌ كَبِيرٌ they will have, they especially will have forgiveness and a huge compensation. وَأَسِرُّوا قَوْلَكُمْ أَوِجْهَرُوا بِهِ Okay, keep your words secret. Or say them out loud. Keep your words secret. Or make them public. إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ He knows well, he knows fully the nature of what lies in the chest. أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقْ Doesn't he know who he created? وَهُوَ اللَّطِيفُ الْخَبِيرِ And he is subtle and has full news. You're on this earth, like you're on an animal, you're on a journey. You got on and you will get off. You will be getting off. وَكُلُوا مِنْ رِزْقِهِ And eat from its provision. إِلَيْهِ النُّشُورِ And at, at the end of the day, ride's gonna be over. You have to go back to him. To him is the final uh, raising again. أَأَمِنْتُمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاءِ أَنْ يَخْصِفَ بِكُمُ الْأَرْضِ Are you feeling that safe? That the one in the sky is going to... Just somehow he's never going to do this to you. He's never gonna bury you into the earth. فَإِذَا هِيَ تَمُودَ Then immediately it starts, you know, vibrating. This is the, actually the, the opposite of the previous ayah. How are you feeling safe that the earth doesn't start shaking? You see, Mara they say in Arabic, they, uh, they say, أَنَّاقَةُ تَمُورُ فِي سَيْرِهَا When a camel is, you know, running really fast, it leaves a, like a, a cloud of dust in its wake. So for that they say, أَنَّاقَةُ تَمُورُ فِي سَيْرِهَا that's the, that's the word tamur here. مَارَ الشَّيْءِ يَعْنِي اِهْتَزَّ It shook violently until it tipped. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ خَصَفْنَا بِهِ الْأَرْضِ And among them there are people who we buried them into the earth. فَخَصَفْنَا بِهِ وَبِدَارِهِ الْأَرْضِ Allah told us that about Qarun. Qarun was literally buried along with his house into the earth. His house was underground. Just went. SubhanAllah. <laughs> Talk about foundation problems. Just went. So, فَإِذَا هِيَ تَمُورِ أَمْ أَمِنْتُمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاءِ أَنْ يُرْسِلَ عَلَيْكُمْ حَاصِبًا Or are you, are you feeling safe that the one in the sky is just never gonna send you a hasib? Hasib is, you know, حَصْبُ النَّارِ They say, كُلُّ مَا أُلْقِيَ فِي النَّارِ لِيَتَّقِدَ فَهُوَ حَصْبُ النَّارِ حَصْب or حَصَب is fuel of a fire. Fuel of a fire. And when a wind has the power to burn, like really hot winds, 
that have the power to enrage flames, they're called hasib. If he was to stop providing for you, balladju. No, no, no. The fact of the matter is they have gone way deep. Lujaja in Arabic is to go deep in some behavior. To, you know, when you keep doing something, you keep doing something and you've gone way down that road. That's Lujaja. This ayah, more than any other ayah to me in the Qur'an, is about people that live with a purpose and people who live without a purpose. So amazing. Few words capture everything. Few words. Allah says, then for the one who walks, Mukibban ala wajhihi. Mukib is actually unusual language. Mukibban actually is muta'addi of a muta'addi, which is pretty incredible. He's forcing himself to keep his face on the ground. Not kabban, mukibban. It's a step above. Mukibban ala. He keeps his face on the ground and he's walking. There are some human beings who live the life of animals. The only time they'll truly look up in the spiritual sense is when the danger of the akhirah comes. And then Allah won't let them look down. Because in Surah Yasin, their held, heads are held back and their eyes are held open. They're literally held up like this. SubhanAllah. But now Allah talks about a person whose head is down. What does that mean? The only aspirations, the only goals, the only activities, the only engagements this person has have to do with dirt. They have to do with this world. Either they have to do with pleasure, or they have to do with wealth, or they have to do with status, or they have to do with, you know, uh, you know, appetite, something, but something on this earth. This guy lives his life facing the earth constantly. Mukibban ala wajhihi. And you know, ala wajhihi idafa. Because mukib already means ala wajhihi. Already means upside down. On his face. But he, he keeps his face down. Is this person more guided? Amman yamshi sawi and as, as compared to the one who stands up straight? Balanced. Ala siratim mustaqim on a straight path. Now imagine somebody's going out, they don't even know what's ahead of them. They don't. What dangers, what obstacles, they don't know. At least someone who's looking up and looking ahead, not only do they know what's right in front of them, they also know what lies ahead. They've got a good picture of what lies ahead. This, this is the, the life of someone who has a purpose. They're heading somewhere, they know where they're going. Somebody with their head on the ground, they don't know where they're going. You and I have to have a really clear picture of what we're trying to accomplish and why we're trying to accomplish it. Not just goals for the akhirah, goals for dunya too. What am I going to do for deen while I'm here? قُلْ هُوَ الَّذِي أَنْشَأَكُمْ وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْئِدَ Tell them, he's, ta, say, He's the one that brought you up. He's the one that created you. Insha means creating out of nothing. Also means to build up, to rise, to make something rise. These things, sama, absar, afida. Why? Because first you hear. Remember, kalu lokuna nasmau. What is the path? And once you're on the path, you walk on it with your eyes open. Then you walk on it with your eyes open. And then finally, Allah mentions the heart because it needs to stay strong on this journey.